while Jeromon Aneto is supervising construction work for a housing estate in Abuja. His real estate company, Kairos Half, is building homes that will use solar-powered batteries as alternative electricity sources. From the design and the beginning of conceptualization of our projects, and we look at how to safeguard the environment at every stage of work, right from the pre-construction to the construction phase till the, the point at which residents move into the houses. So we, we, we have a mandate to reduce our carbon footprint by a certain margin and we can't complete that circle if the point of powering isn't considered. So even at the point of construction, our site offices uh, where we operate from are powered off-grid using clean energy. Developers like Aneto have been making a shift to renewables as main sources and alternative sources of power in the last few years as the country's population grows and more people move to urban areas. This is because the country has been unable to generate and distribute enough power that's needed for its over 200 million population. The national electricity grid collapsed at least eight times in 2022 alone, which the government blamed on low gas supply. We are power starved, we don't have enough. So renewables present um, alternatives. Uh, instead of running diesel generators and um, all kinds of things that pollute the environment. Um, solar, for example, comes handy. I think it is also a wake-up call for the operators of the grid that the business you took for granted for years, the people are finding creative alternatives. So if you don't do something, something may happen to you. But renewable energy sources do not come cheap. According to Forbes, a solar panel costs at least $3,500, and with millions living in poverty, only few can afford it. Experts say the government needs to incentivize solar and also ensure that real estate companies begin to build mini-grids to help reduce power problems and reduce emissions. The government has a lot to, to, to do on this. The there should be incentives for manufacturers of solar products. Some estates might be in, in places where there are no where there has been no power before, so they don't have to begin to bother themselves about how to extend the grid supply into the estate. They can become a self-sustaining enclave, so that will bring more power. So if you have two, three, four, five estates. One megawatt here, one megawatt there, one megawatt there. That's, 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 that takes care of a lot of things. Last year, Nigeria launched the Energy Transition Plan to reduce carbon emissions and encourage more cleaner energy sources of power by 2060. The government is looking to transition from petrol and diesel power generators by creating investment opportunities in industries related to renewables like solar, but that is expected to cost up to $10 billion annually. And when that happens, that could see more developers like Aneto build homes that will be mainly powered by clean energy sources. Ajak Mangut, CGTN, Abuja.